Hi, welcome to my video on an introduction to data memory. Um, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to make a label and I'm going to call it my string. And I'm going to give it an ASCII value of bird. So what we have is we have a string or a label and it's going to store it BIRD into the data memory. So where is the data memory? So I'm going to assemble this code and if you look at the data segment box right here you'll see that the first box is, is filled with a hexadecimal value now what this hexadecimal value is what you stored in my string now what if I make another string and I say my string 2 and I'm going to give it a dat by ASCII value of cow and I run and assemble it you'll see that you'll see that the cow word it went on the next box now we're gonna go into a little bit more in depth with it some of the things that you need to understand is each of these boxes contain four bytes and four bytes contain eight bits so two of these are represent one ASCII letter so 62 represent B 69 represents I, 72 represents 72 represents R, and 64 represents D. And I made a small PowerPoint which might make it a little bit more easier to understand. Now, as you can see here, we have we have our data. I cop I made a took a picture and I put it in the PowerPoint, and you can see that this box is where our BIRD value is stored and when we go down here we can break this up into more values and 0x62 like I said is B 69 is right here 0x69 is I 72 0x72 is R and 64 0x64 is D and I told you before that each of these values represent 8 bits so each one byte is 8 bits so 62 is made up of 8 bits bits are zeros and ones so 0 1 0 0 is 2 0 1 1 0 is 6 in the same way right here we have 0 0 1 0 is 4 and then 0 1 1 0 is 6 what all that means is one ASCII value is equal to 8 bits or one byte is equal to 8 bits now what I'm going to show you next is how we can read each of these values so the data stored in the data memory starts from 0x 1001000 zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. so 0x 1001000 zero, 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 zero is equal to the first value of your data memory in this case it's equal to 62 or b now it depends on the little indian or the big indian whether you read from right to left or left to right in this case we will be reading right to left so 0x1001000 zero, 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 zero is equal to 62 and that's the first value in our data memory now how do we go to the second value or the i well that's 0x1001000 zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, or 69 which is equal to i now take a wild guess as to what the next letter is going to be. That's right, it's going to be 0x1001002 zero, 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 and that's equal to R or 72 in this case. And the final one is equal to the third or the fourth since we start with 0 it's going to be the fourth uh, letter in our data memory and that's 64 which is D. Now after after we go from 0, 1, 2, 3, now where does the data memory go next? 
well it goes to 4 which starts right here and in this case our 4 is equal to 0 because we didn't store anything into it this is assuming that we didn't store cow into it now what one thing you should notice is that after 9 it doesn't go to 10 it goes to C so 1 0 after 0 x 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 9 it's 0 x 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 C and that's right here if you use Mars it's a little easier to see how the data data memory works because it tells you what each of these rows start with and so this is this right here starts with 0 x 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 then this box it says value is plus 4 that means to get the first value right here you just add 4 to this one so it'll be 0 x 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 4 and say you wanna go right say you wanna go right let me see if I can move this just have to use my arrow keys and it'll take a while to get there and it's there say you wanna take this value well that'll be 0 x 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 8 now let's go back to our Mars program. Now we're gonna assume that I didn't type in cow because I don't want it to be there. So how can I read the first byte or first character from the data memory? All you have to do is do the load byte code and I'm gonna load the byte into A0 because I wanna print it out A0 and I'm going to type in 0x1001000. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Now, which which letter is that? That's going to be the first letter in our data memory. And the first letter in our data memory is 62. Make sure you don't mistake it for 64 because 64 is, is not the first. We read from right to left. Going back to my code. So I'm going to load that first byte into A0 then I'm gonna load immediate V0 with 11 and if you know what V0 11 does is what that does is it um, it prints out the character that's in A0 then I'm gonna do a syscall and to end my program I'm gonna do a load immediate V0 10 and do another syscall now let's see what this does run assemble and as you can see, in our data memory, we have our BIRD. And I'm going to run the code step by step. And if you see right now, in, in uh, A0, the, the character 62, or the hexadecimal value 62, is stored into A0. And then we're going to print it. And when we print it, B is printed out. Now let's see what happens if I change this to 1 hopefully you guys can see I'm gonna change this to 1 and then I'm gonna print it again run assemble and if you look at our code a0 it's blank right now and after I run one step on it it becomes 69 then I'm gonna let it print and we have bi the b came from the before so I'll, I'll run this one more time just to show you guys so I'm, I assembled it, I'm going to run it, 69 is in A0, then one more step, and it prints out I. What if I put 3, not 2, 3, I'm going to assemble it, I'm going to run it, 64 is in A0, and then one more step, let me clear this, one more step, and it prints out D. So what did what which one did that print out? That printed out the fourth byte. So 64, that's right. 64 is an A0, and 64 is D. So we're gonna print out BIRD, loading one byte at a time. So how can we do that? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load immediate uh, load byte, and I'm gonna load the byte 0x1001000 into A0. And remember, this value is the first 
location in the data memory. Then I'm gonna load immediate v0 and put the value 11 into v0 and do a syscall. What we, what system call 11 does is it print or one byte. Then I'm gonna load byte a0 and I'm gonna put 0x1001001 and do a syscall. You might be wondering why I didn't put the value 11 into v0 before I did this syscall. The reason is I put 11 into v0 up here already. There's no point for me to put it down here too because the value of v0 is gonna stay 11. It doesn't magically disappear until I change the value of v0. So next I'm going to load byte a0 with 0x1001002 and I'm going to do a syscall and I'm going to load the byte a0 0x1001003 okay so this is our first byte and it's going to go into a0 then we're going to do a syscall and it's going to print out it's going to print out one character this is our second byte and it's going to go to a0 then it's going to do a syscall this is our third byte it's going to go into a0 do a syscall this is our fourth byte it's going to go into a0 and we do a syscall now one important thing is make sure you're doing load byte and not not load immediate because loading the byte is different from loading immediate loading immediate you're putting a value whereas load byte you're loading the byte that's inside the data memory and it's going to use this address to find that byte okay so let's see how our code plays out so I'm gonna run and assemble and I'm gonna do one step at a time so the first thing that happens is 62 is going into a0 and then it's gonna print out a B just like right here then the second value that's gonna go into a0 is 69 and when that prints out it prints out an I the next value that's going into a0 is 72 when that prints out it prints out an R and the final value that's going into a0 is 64 and when that prints out it prints out an a D so and finally it just does it just quits the program now I'm gonna run this one more time I'm gonna run assemble I'm gonna run it one more time and I want you to see what happens if I don't go step by step just run the whole entire program and I run and when I do it it prints out BIRD as if it were one word but as the programmer we know that it's not printing the whole entire word at once it's printing one byte at a time well that's that's pretty much a basic introduction to our data memory now one thing you could, you should realize by now if you have done programming previously is you could have combined this whole entire code into a few lines by using a loop and we're gonna learn how to use jumps to combine our whole entire code into just a loop and that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next time.